Welcome back. We've got another Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. We've got a nice sweet and short one today and we're going to dive straight into it. Let's go. So today we're going to look at attach. Attach is one of those words that freak people out a bit because they do not understand what it means. So I'm here to give you a very quick tutorial to show you exactly why you would want to use attach, when you would want to use attach and what the heck attach is even about. So first of all, let's go and find the image from our book. So we're on page 38 of the book and we're looking at attach and I'm going to go and grab the same image as always, which is this one here. So you put in your hashtag with the numbers in order to try and find that. So what we want to have a look at is if I wanted to print out this design onto a piece of cardstock to make a card or even a bookmark or whatever it is that I would like to make, right? I would like to keep my pieces as is when I'm looking at it. So when you look at your attach, which lives down here on the bottom, you'll see that it has a paper clip. And that to me is the easiest way to remember what attach does. So attach is basically like what we would do with a paper clip. You take a few pieces of paper. You want to keep those pieces in place, right? That's why we're using a paper clip. I don't want to get my pieces of paper all muddled up. I don't want them to move, but I'm not ready to make them permanent yet either. I don't want to staple them. I want to use a paper clip to keep them in place, but I would like to have the opportunity to remove the paper clip and move them around again if I want to. Attach does the same thing. Attach is not permanent. So you don't have to be scared that if you do it, you can't undo it. You can. And it works very similar to a paper clip in that it keeps the pieces exactly where you told it to be. So rather than leaving it up to Cricut Design Space, you're the one in charge and you're saying to the software, hey, this is what I want to do. So currently you can see we've got two layers and we've got a pink layer here so I can hide that away and then I've got my mustard color layer which is that one there, right? So I'm going to change these ones to print so that I can show you what I mean. So now I've got two print layers and my machine will print out the pink bits and the mustard bits and then cut around it to make my shape. Because I haven't used attach, if I go to make it, the software decides what it should be doing and it separates the bits out. Now that would be perfectly fine if this was working on vinyl. If this was vinyl that I was working on, I would like for it to be separated out, but I'm not doing vinyl. I want to print this out. So doing this completely destroys the card. So in order for me to take charge and say to the software, you have no freaking idea what you're doing here. I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to take my paper clip and I'm going to pop it on so that these two layers cannot move right so you drag your mouse and you highlight both layers and you simply click on the attach and now you will see in the layers panel here that it's got the words attach and you can also see that I have the ability to detach and remove my paper clip and make them two layers again so I grab that I click on attach and I go to make it and now you can see that the software understands what I want because I've told it not to move my pieces so that's what your paper clip does now the paper clip is really, really good for any time you want to do anything with line types. What is a line type? I had a full video on that if you need to go and have a look at it again. But let's say I wanted to make a card and I wanted to put a score line down the middle so that I can easily fold my card, right? I'm going to make a score line down here so that I know exactly where my fold line is going to be. So I grab my cards, which will be my cardstock, and I grab my line, which is my score line here, right? And I pop this on the card where I want it to go. So I'm kind of estimating here, which is not what you want to do when you're doing your card. You've got to be precise, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So let me just guess. So I've got my score line, and it says that there, so we don't have to guess what it is, right? And my card. Now again, if I don't attach these pieces together, watch what happens. The software decides that the scoring needs to happen on a completely different mat because it doesn't want to destroy your cardstock for you. It doesn't know what you're doing. So it's tr trying to be smart, but it's really not always that smart. So I've got to go back and I've got to select both of these and I've got to click on the attach to tell the software, I want to tell you where these pieces go and this is where they go. Do not move them. And then you go to make it and you're going to get your score right on top of your cardstock where you want it to be. 
So your line types live here. So anytime you'd use any of these, your draw, your engrave, deboss, wave, perforation, or any of your foils, you will need to use the attach to attach that line to something. So we want that to be attached generally very often to something like a cardstock. So again, before I wrap up, attach is like a paper clip. It keeps position of things, but it is not permanent. You can undo it. So if you would like to keep things exactly as it is on your screen, which me talk, we talk about keeping position, right? You will use and the attach button. And that works really, really well for all of your line types as well. But sometimes it could just be a matter of placing a few hearts in a nice shape and you would like to keep it in that shape. And so therefore you tell the program exactly what to do. All right. So let's say I made a circle of hearts, right? If I go to make it right now, it's going to separate out those hearts like this. And that's not freaking what I wanted. I just spent a few minutes wasting my time making these hearts into a specific shape. So in order to be able to keep the placement of all of those elements, I'm going to have to click on attach. Okay. So that wraps up attach. Next up, we're going to hop into weld and we're going to talk about that one. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.